Great Loop is a continuous waterway that allows boaters to explore the eastern United States and into Canada. The loop consists of 6,000 miles of rivers, lakes, canals, locks, bays, ocean, and the Gulf. Once I read about the loop, it was a must-do on my bucket list. So we started planning. When we first started talking to people about the loop and told them our plans, they told us we were crazy and had no chance of making it in the amount of time we allowed. We wanted to make it to the Gulf of Mexico from St. Louis in five days. Most told us two weeks minimum. We stopped at Hoppy's about a week before we left and talked to some people down there. They told us because of flooding, we need to cancel our trip and not risk the Mississippi. Not long after this minor incident of just picking up a stick that we thought may be major, we threw a belt for the water pump in the middle of the Mississippi. Engine shut down because of temperature. At this point, we were worried our trip was over. We had a tug come around the bend below us as we were floating in the middle his way. We radioed to him and got in contact and ending up having to drop anchor in the middle of the Mississippi which we had to cut off once we got the new belt put on because the current made it impossible to pull the anchor back up. Once we got to the Paducah Transient Boat Dock, just before dusk, we talked to other loopers staying at the dock, telling them what we were planning to do. They all told us we were crazy and that will be impossible to make it to the Gulf that quick. I lied there that night, starting to lose hope, thinking after all these problems today, Maybe we should just call it quits. In the morning, all the loopers got up and were talking about which lock to take to get into Kentucky Lake. They said that there was a four hour wait to get into the Kentucky lock, so it would be better to go around to the Cumberland and into Lake Barkley than cut across the canal back into Kentucky Lake. So we decided on that route. Day two was a good day, and we pushed a few extra miles in the evening. That night we realized this is possible, and we are going to prove a bunch of people wrong as long as the boat allows. When we got to the Tom Bigby series of locks, we talked to the lock master and told them all what we were doing. They would fax down a letter notifying the next lock about what time we would be there so they'd have the next lock ready for us. Most of the time it worked, 
Sometimes we had to wait for northbound traffic. Some of these locks are only a few miles away, making mileage for the day a struggle. there would be many nights being stuck on the boat every night. What we learned that is if you plan your stops, most marinas had courtesy cars or shuttles and hotels nearby allowing a nice bed and a hot shower. There were many marinas we missed along the way, but most marinas we stopped at were very friendly and helpful. One must-stop marina is Bobby's for a catfish fried dinner.
This was one of the greatest experiences, and I would recommend it to any avid boater out there. This beats the heck out of any lake or river you have ever been on. I can't wait for the next leg of our loop.